Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm doing a mini love reading for the Cancer, okay, for May of 2016. Um, it's just going to be a quick three card spread for you. Um, Cancers, we're going to be looking at um, past energies that are still affecting you, how your past is blocking you or holding, your, holding you back, and what you need to take from your past to use today. Um, I'm looking at your present, what's going on in your love life now, <clears throat> any opportunities and challenges that are currently being presented to you, and then also the future, um, which is the outcome and basically what you are wanting. Because remember, you manifest the outcome of your situation. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to shuffle a few more times and... Okay, so you just went through a transformation, Cancer. You got the death card. If you're wondering what we're listening to, we're listening to nature sounds, you guys. So, Cancer, you just recently had some sort of transformation. Um, there was either some um, old, maybe an maybe a old situation that you left behind or maybe um, some sort of rite of passage. Um, <clears throat> involving your love life now for some of you cancers this can mean that you uh, recently let go of something in the past maybe a lover in the past you let them go um, this can indicate maybe an intense relationship maybe a secret relationship maybe um, discovering something about um, someone or maybe it was something discovered about you it could be the other way around um, so <clears throat> The death card is a really beautiful card, depending on the outer line card. So what we, we can guarantee is that, that you are now into a new phase of life. And all things change with time, and your path through this world is no different. Um, so this is a really positive card. Um, sometimes it's associated with some sort of loss, failure, or destruction. So for some of you Cancers, there was some some loss, some, some uh, failures in the past. Um, in particular, around October of last year is what this card, um, if you want to look at the date of this card also. So I can see dating back as far as, as October for some of you. Um, even further back than that. So um, it does it. It indicates you letting go of your need to control. Um, maybe there was some sort of self-limiting belief surrounding love. Um, now, for some of you Cancers, um, you may be clinging, okay, to an un to an unhappy relationship because you don't want to let go of what's familiar. Um, just make sure that you be honest about what you want out of the relationship so with this one it can go either way um if you're single you are definitely ready to go out and meet someone um presently you got the ten of wands which is showing you carrying some sort of heavy burden cancer but you are balanced and you do have the ability to carry that burden. You are strong enough. So this is a card of overcoming. Okay. Um, this indicates there are obstacles currently right now. Um, or, and there may be obstacles in May, but you are definitely going to overcome them. So this is really, um, it's a really positive card to get in this position. I'm sorry guys, my son looks like he's trying to roll off of the bed. Give me a second. <laughs>
So, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands is showing your ability to overcome a situation using your good karma. Um, the Ten is really positive energies. Okay, this is about you going through challenges. You're under intense pressure right now, okay? And you may have overcommitted to, you're working hard, <laughs> And you're taking on more burdens than you, than you should. So what this means is that bear down and see the challenge through to the end. If you have, be, if you have be, been disconnected for, from someone close to you, expect an opportunity to reconnect. So for some of you cancers, you're going to reconnect. You are currently reconnecting with someone from your past to see this card. And this is about intense pre pressure. Okay, he is rolling closer and closer to the edge of the bed. He just insists on it. So, um, you've been too successful, Cancer. And right now, you're tired. So, just take a break. Um, if you need to, personally and professionally. Or either plan to have one. <laughs> Some of us just can't take a break. But um, it signifies that you are in a hard place in a relationship. This is a make or break period. It does show that you're undergoing some sort of rough time, usually dealing with um, trust. Um, also, for some of you cancers, your partner is undergoing a rough time that has nothing to do with you. So you just need to be supported. Right now, you and your partner equally have some sort of conflict with each other, and you're both examining and considering the relationship. So, I get the sense for a lot of you single cancers that you're on the verge of settling down. Let's look at your future card. And you did get the emperor, which means this is a very strong male masculine energy that is in the emperor um this is a major arcana card so this is um basically someone laying down the law okay this is some sort of strict rule this is again some sort of um domination maybe not even domination just possibly um well yeah with the emperor's domination <laughs> this is an authority figure so i do see this as a literal person and i do see this as being the partner whether or not male or female this person is very rational and stable um for the women this is a lot of masculine energy so for the month of may I mean, you're definitely going to be as far as with um, having that, um, what, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, that structure and order and, you know, stable, you know, that <clears throat> stability in your life. So this is a really positive card to get um, in the, for, for the context of love. And so what this means for the future is that... Um, you know, Cancer, you want to take the initiative to lead you to this person. So if you're single, make sure that you get out and you meet people. If you're already involved with somebody, you might want to um, reach out to them, okay? Um, this is also showing that you're going to be uh, given the opportunity to lead, okay? So you're going to be seen as a leader, whether or not you're male or female. Um, if you're male... You know, I'm seeing a lot of power. Um, you know, if you're female, then it looks like whoever this person is, is going to, um, is definitely going to give you that structure that you need. Um, <clears throat>
some of you cancers are going to be settling down with someone that might be older than you or maybe they just act older than you and that person can probably frustrate you because they rule with an iron fist but he's trying to help you to see that rules have their place in their reasons and you will come out all the better for it so it may sound like he's you know just trying to uh, sometimes you gotta see the benefit of structure and logic ruling over your emotions and lesser desires okay cancer because you know we are <clears throat> extremely emotional so even though you're frustrated um you know go ahead and let this person take the lead because they are trying to shape you and mold you you know um what's the word that i'm looking for the emperor this is a lot of financial success stability a good family a lot of structure surrounding it so um, that's pretty much what I'm seeing which is a good thing which is a lot of structure and logic over your emotions cancer so if you want a um, personalized reading check out my website the link is in the video description box thank you so much for watching and make sure that you stay tuned for your um, your full reading for May, which should be going up within the next week. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.